So don't you hate when you're checking your email and you just have a whole bunch of automatic emails coming to you from Google Classroom? I mean, look at this. My inbox is loaded with automatically generated Google Classroom emails. I got to do something about this. Well, Gmail has a really awesome function in it called filters, and you can use filters to help um, not only categorize your emails and, and organize them, but then you can select them in bunches and choose to either archive or delete them. So here is my uh, inbox, and let's say I have this email from Google Classroom. So I open it up, and I'm like, oh, geez, another Google Classroom email. Now there's a couple of things I can do. I can click on filter messages like this, and it will kind of automatically create like a filter of sorts that I can then edit. Um, there's another way to create filters too, I'll show you at the end, but you find an email that you want to filter, filter messages like this, and you get this little pop-up. So you are creating this filter and it says from no reply plus 937, blah, 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 blah. Now here's the problem. Every teacher in Google Classroom is gonna have a different address here. So there's this really awesome trick where you take the front and you delete it, so it just says from at classroom.google.com. And now any email you get from Google Classroom, no matter who the teacher is, will have this filter that we're creating. So you hit create filter with this search. Now we can tell it what we want it to do. So when I get an email from Google Classroom, I'd like it to apply the label Google Classroom. So when I hit choose label, oh, I don't have one that says that yet. So let's click on new label and enter Google Classroom and create. So now every time I get an email from Google Classroom, it will be tagged with a label Google Classroom. I do need to check this box that says also apply filter to matching conversations because it will go back into my inbox, search for emails that match that filter and apply it on those as well. So I click create filter. And now all of a sudden I have all these emails that say Google Classroom. It's a lovely gray shade of label. I can go in and actually change my label color. Maybe I want everything from Google Classroom to be bright green. Um, now here's, here's why labels are so awesome. So I've labeled all these Google Classroom you know, emails. I can click on the label and now just see everything that has that label. I can bulk select them, select all 140 conversations in Google Classroom. I'm gonna select that. Now I could decide I want to delete all of those. Or, I don't know, I might need to go back and look at those again. I can go to more and I can archive them. Now, archiving them, yep, does not delete them. It just stores it away in this little folder here, this Google Classroom folder. Um, when I go to my inbox, they're not there anymore. I now have one email in my inbox. So that's great. That's awesome. And if I ever wanted to go back and look at those, I can click on that label, go back and take a look at those. Now, I said there's more than one way to make a filter besides just clicking on the email and creating a filter, you can actually go into your settings and there is a section for filters and blocked addresses. So you can go in and you can actually create and edit filters that you already have. So you can um, create a new filter um, and then do uh, whatever you want it to do. You can have filters skip the inbox altogether, which I usually don't tell students to do because you don't want to miss something that's important, but you can apply stars to it. You can create other um, labels as well. I've got one for emails from scratch. I've got one for emails from students. It would be awesome to make one maybe for each subject. You could have one that says math, one that says language arts, but creating those uh, filters that automatically label your different emails make it much, much easier to kind of sort and select and even search. You can search by your emails um, and help keep your inbox a lot cleaner.